Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving the Microsoft Store error. Something unexpected happened. Error 0x80D02017 on your Windows 10 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is start by opening up the Start menu. Type in WS Reset. You want to right click on this best match here and then select run as administrator. Give it a moment to run here, it shouldn't take very long. And there you go, hopefully that would have been able to resolve the problem. The Microsoft Store is loading right now, so shouldn't have any issues from here on out, at least with that method, hopefully that would have been able to knock it out without too much of a hassle. So another thing you can try if we close out of here would be to go ahead and open up the Start menu again, type in Windows PowerShell, best match should come back with Windows PowerShell, right click on it, select Run as Administrator, if you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. Now there's going to be a command in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy it. And then go up to the top of the Windows PowerShell window here. Right click on it. Left click on edit. And then left click on paste. Once it's pasted in, hit enter on your keyboard to run this command.
Okay, so there's a little red area. Don't worry too much about it, but as long as the other activities look like they were finished successfully, that's what matters here. So there's a couple that we're unable to install because they need to be closed. Don't worry too much about it. So we're just going to let it keep running here. So don't be overly concerned. Okay, so once that's done, you want to go ahead and just close out of here. Restart your computer and hopefully that would have been able to resolve the problem. One last thing to try would be to open up the start menu, type in services into the start menu search. Best match should come back with services. Should come up right above app, so go ahead and left click on that.
So go and select the Banker Intelligence Transfer Service, double click on it. Startup type, you want to set it to automatic, and then select Apply and OK. And do the same thing for the Windows Update Service as well. You can start them now as well, so if you want to click Start the Service, you can. I'm just looking more for the longevity, so I will ask you to restart your computer, as you can tell. So it's already automatic, or automatic delete start is fine. Select Apply and OK. Restart your computer, and hopefully I would have been able to resolve the problem as well. So I do hope that this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.